You just gotta wait there so I can get into the lab. And then this is the screenshot that we have is you trapped in there. <laughs> ah! Has there been a time when you've been playing Grounded and there's some resources that you desperately, desperately wanted, but the devs made it impossible to get? I'm talking like this annoyed the heck out of me. And uh, it's these slime mold sconces right here. I want them. I want them. I want these slime mold stocks. Okay, I really badly want all of these. There's so many in here, and I want them. And I know how to get them. I broke in there tonight, and I am super freaking proud of myself. So here is a video showcasing that, one, you definitely can get inside this room. It just takes a little bit of effort. Before we get into it, though, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on for more future videos. We're actually building a giant pumpkin for Halloween this year, and there's going to be a full series up here on YouTube. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on for those videos coming up, as well as more content coming very soon. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to be joined by a friend. She's actually going to be getting in there to prove that it is possible. All right, let's do it. I'm going to go get my friend who is at the top of the mega base. And that is Cryptic, who is in a uh, who is in a voice call with me right now. Hello. Yeah, this is Cryptic, everybody. She's one of my mods over on Twitch and on TikTok. Absolutely amazing person. But she's going to be joining me to help me showcase this off today. So I will meet you back at the base. This is Cryptic, everybody. Oh my gosh, we ran into each other. That's not good. This is Cryptic, everybody. And she is responsible for all the really nice lighting around the penthouse apartments of the Stash Hotel, which if you want one, comment in the comment section down below and you will get one. All right, you get to come in and build it as well, potentially, if you want to, maybe it's up to you. But this is Cryptic. She's been doing a lot of stuff in this world. This world is not just mine. It belongs to a few of my community members because they've been doing so much work in here. We need to go that way. You ready? Let's go. Sure, let's go. Let's go. So you got to come up here and take the bounce elevator. All right, now that we're up the top here, we got to go take this upper zip line here. Actually, no. Well, you take the upper one. I'll meet you over there. I'll take the lower one and show everybody at home how we actually got to where we need to go. So while Cryptic does that, we're going to build this. Oh, God, why? <laughs> oh, no. We're going to build this zip line and catch it. There was a lot of work that went into even getting to the location we need to get to. And this is just some of it. And this has gone through like many different iterations of different work that a few of us have put in to make it possible. And it's, it was a mess. It's slightly better now, but it was a major, major mess before. So first stop, one, that's a zip line from the main base to the lumber yard. That's the, like, the, the upper one. Uh, then we've got a really sketchy mushroom wall walk to go across from here. Okay, we'll catch up to Cryptic hopefully in this bit. Um, this wasn't here before the start of this video, uh, I had to build this because I got rid of all this because the only way across was a zipline. So I had to go make this specifically so I could film this. So you come over here, you can anchor stuff off the fence, which is amazing, and that's how we built this. Well, have you got a tuft on you? You ask now? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, good. It's too bad, we're to not going to get yet. another one. This is the Emerald Base, and this is a base I built out on the basketball hoop. We ca we carried all the stuff out here to do this. It was insane. All right, Cryptic. You've taken the zip line. So you're going to go all the way down here. Now, you don't need to do this, but I just wanted to. Because there are death barriers that surround the entire garden. I'm not sure exactly where. But yeah. All right, Cryptic. We're going to take the shortcut. Or you're going to take the shortcut. Um, Actually, no, you're, you're gonna, if you're going to take the shortcut, you're doing this. So you need to stand in front of this wall here. Line yourself up with this this, this center bit of the roof. This one? Yep. Okay. And then just uh -huh. jump forwards over the fence. Crypty's going to take over. the shortcut. Yep. So Crypty's going to take the shortcut here by jumping over this wall. And I'm going to take you the long way. Okay, she's gone. Let's hope. <laughs> she's definitely going to beat us down there, which is fine. Um, and she's also going to take the next shortcut as well. This path goes into the neighboring house. So that's our garden back there. We're now going into the neighbor's house. Which, funnily enough, has absolutely nothing in it. It is hollow, which I understand. We're not meant to be out here. 
but the devs didn't account for me. We're at a very, very tight tolerances down here too. We actually can't build any lower. None of us can. I don't even know if Cryptic can build out here. All's well that ends well. There we Yay! go. All right, now run all the way down here. Okay. So you take this endless path that genuinely feels like it goes on forever until we get to a couple of other, couple of other ramps. <laughs> There was a lot of work that went into make this happen and it genuinely took like this is just days and hours and hours of work to even get to this point now you could probably cut it by a little bit and make sure that you actually have like avoided the death barriers i just wanted to make sure up ramp number two now we've made our way down here underneath the map yes you can get under the map and it's kind of cool and there's a lot of stuff that I've messed around with in this. That's for a future video. I'll tell you about it later. As you can see, we've got like these pathways and stuff that lead up here. And then an enormous amount of various <laughs> mushroom wall like pathways. Now there's one particular part of this that made this build particularly difficult and almost impossible. And that is this area right here. We have no land rights. We can't build up in here in any of this space. And it's because there's a lab there. Yeah, so don't we don't go down that path. That path's for a different reason. It was a test one. I did find a space that did work though. And it's all off this brick. There are 516 different walls and cryptic, you gotta follow me this time. Oh goody. So now I've done this a lot. Cryptic, however, has not spent too much time walking on these walls. And it is what? relatively precarious. Now, again, wanted to see, like, that's what these different paths are. All of these are, can I build there? Okay, that's what all of these ones are for. So we're going to adventure down the path that I know. I just built off a lot. Okay, we tested so many different things. Now, thankfully, Cryptic only has to go a little bit of distance here. If you want to see the full thing, I will do it. But please let me know in the comments. Because uh, that pathway goes all the way down there, up into the sand pit. Uh, into another section of the map, down that way, behind you, the fence, and then further along, and then finally up and over that way. This entire section has no land rights, which means we could not build through it, except I found a glitch. And uh, Cryptic, you gotta come with me. We can. You can get through it with a zip line. Now, I tested all manner of things to try this. I even built that side the map again just to see. That is the room. So Crypto's gonna take the zip line all the way across to here. The only way into this room, and I'm gonna go get inside the black ant lab to uh, test this. Cryptic's job is to catch this zip line and when you get close to it. So jump off the line, jump to your right. I, did. I told you, it's not that hard, right? Now you're just gonna I wait there. <laughs> you're just gonna wait there so I can get into the lab. And then this is the screenshot that we have, is you trapped in there. <laughs> ah! So cool to have you in there. <laughs> I leave here now. Yeah, you actually can't get out without dying. Look, everybody, look! <laughs> Hang on, so if I turn like this, and then... That is creepy. All right, everybody. That is how you get into this room. And unfortunately, Cryptic is now stuck in there forever. There's nothing she can do to get out of there uh, except die. <laughs> and it does count. This is a way to get these resources. I didn't think this was possible, but I broke the game enough to make it possible. So now you have access to infinite. Now these respawn every single time you load in. Don't ask me why, but they do. Because these I collected and then logged out. <laughs> but apparently they're there. How freaking cool is this? Now, unfortunately we can't build anything in there because I really badly wanted to put a chair in there, but no land right, so we can't do it. I hope you enjoyed this video of getting into one of the many secret rooms here in Grounded. I'm gonna be doing more of these. There are heaps of different rooms that are really cool that we just don't have access to, and I want access to them, and I'm gonna get it. I'll see you in more videos, guys. Bye.